it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning. So today's tip is make sure that you receive your orders a day early. So here was the situation, here's what happened to me. I had all of these specialty linens coming in and they were gonna be delivered to the country club. And typically country clubs and their staff, they're super, super helpful, which I'm very, very gracious for. But I learned a very valuable lesson at this particular wedding. So I love the club director. She was awesome. We had a great working relationship. I completely trusted her. She said, oh, my staff will set up the day before. We'll set the tables. We'll put the linens down. They'll be ready when you come in. They knew exactly how I liked things. They knew that I liked the linens a certain way, the seams running a certain way, the steaming a certain way, because most of us planners and designers, I mean, we're just OCD, right? And so it helps when we work with the same people over and over. So again, I had no reservation. I thought, I'll just swing by the country club on Saturday morning just to make sure everything looks good before I head to the ceremony. So when I did that, I walked in and there were four specialty overlays, really special overlays, that were supposed to be there on the bride and the groom's tables and the family tables. And I noticed that those overlays were missing. So I talked to the contact at the country club. I talked to the setup people at the country club. I asked where the boxes were. They told me they were back in the dumpster. So what do you think I did? I went dumpster diving because I didn't trust anyone. I knew that those linens had to be there. They were somewhere in that country club. I was completely convinced of it because my order sheet said so, right? So if the order sheet says so, you just assume that the linens were shipped. Well, after looking and digging and then I stunk from dumpster diving, I decided to call my rep and thank God, again, I had an emergency number and had a really good relationship with my linen rep because not every company has a rep that's on call on the weekends. And again, let me remind you, this was Saturday morning before the wedding. So I call my rep and I tell her, there are these linens, these four specialty overlays that the bride's been talking about. She was so excited about them. She's gonna know if they're missing. They're for her table and her family's table. And so I begged her, I'm like, please go to the warehouse. Please, please go look. They're not here. They're not here at the country club. They never arrived. Well, I checked the tracking number and again, it said that they arrived, but she was such an awesome person. She drove to the warehouse and guess what? There was the box sitting there. It never shipped. And being on that day, FedEx and UPS, you couldn't just ship it that quick. So again, I had to think on my feet really quick. Like, what am I gonna do? I have to get these linens here because I can't just go to a local place in town and get these linens. So I thought to myself, okay, I could get on southwest.com, buy a plane ticket, if the rep was willing to drive the box to the airport, put it in its seat, strap it on, and fly it to me. And it would be there mm, in about two hours. So what did I do? That's exactly what I did. I bought a ticket. I didn't tell anybody. I sent one of my girls that was helping me that day to the airport to pick up the linens. I told her which tables they went on and I went to the ceremony and prayed really hard that those linens made it. So of course they made it there on time. No one ever knew that anything was wrong until the next day, of course, when the mother comes up to me at the brunch and says, did anything happen? Is there anything that I should know? Everything was so perfect. And I'm thinking, gosh, if you only knew some of the things that happened in the background. But one thing that I did want to let you know is I had to buy a plane ticket for something. She was like, what? A plane ticket? And I said, yeah, the four specialty linens for the family tables, they weren't there and it was an error on someone from the linen company and they're gonna take care of it for you. So the outcome, my takeaway was, I should not rely on anyone else to see through the details that someone hired me to see through. I should have gone the day before and I should have made sure that everything was perfect and then I would not have frantically been running around buying plane tickets and acting so fast. But again, thank goodness that I had really, really good vendor relationships. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.